Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how you can use grid dimension to redimension opposing connectors in a structured grid so that domains and blocks will remain dimensionally balanced. Now, a structured domain is going to consist of four edges. Each edge can consist of multiple connectors, but opposing edges must have the same number of points for that domain to be dimensionally balanced. Similarly, for a structured block, it's going to consist of six faces. Each face can consist of multiple domains, but opposing faces must have the same number of points. Okay, so for this example, say I want to select this connector, which has 11 points, and change it to 21 points. I want to increase its dimension. If I do that, you'll notice that these domains disappear. Now, they're still there. I can still select them, but they're basically now dimensionally unbalanced. Okay. That basically means that opposing edges no longer have the same number of points. That's pretty easy to fix. I can just grab the connector, the opposing connector. I can change its dimension to 21, and you'll notice that domain comes back. It is now balanced. But I need to propagate that all the way to cross. So I would need to grab this connector, change it to 21. You'll notice that this domain is now unbalanced. So I'd have to grab this connector, change it to 21, and so on and so forth all the way across. Now this example is pretty simple. I can just grab all those connectors and change them to 21 and it'll propagate all the way across. But you can imagine maybe something more complex than this. This can be pretty challenging. So there's an easy way to go about this. I'm just going to undo that. And I'm going to go to grid dimension. Now once I'm in grid dimension, if I select this connector, it's automatically going to highlight all the connectors in that grid system that would be affected so that those domains will remain dimensionally balanced once I change this connector's dimension. So if I change it to 21 and hit dimension, you'll notice that all those connectors get updated and all the domains remain dimensionally balanced. Now I should mention that this is only going to work when edges in a domain or block consist of a single connector where it's straightforward to automatically redimension the opposing edge with the same number of points. So I hope this helps when you're redimensioning the connectors for your structured grids. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.